morning you guys it is Tuesday and I would say another day of this quarantine mess from coronavirus and that's what we're gonna get into but I just want to say thank y'all for supporting me and, and I miss y'all and I'm so thankful that I'm still able to record a video and there are some of y'all just still sticking with me I, it's not my situation has not got worse since the time last time it's got better so I don't want y'all to be like, dang, what's going on? Is she okay? I'm great. I'm fine. As you can see, the glow up with God is amazing. Still working. And I'm just trying to find me somewhere to move to. So, let's get into this conversation. This, the sun ain't even uh, came up yet. And I just want to get on here and talk about the coronavirus. And the things that are being said. Not really being said, but I just feel like I focus... Okay, we know what the the bad part about it and what's going on, but we need not to lose focus of who has the last say so in this whole ordeal. Like, it's still like I think we lost our trust and faith in God and just so focused on the coronavirus and not trying to heal mentally and spiritually. Like, the coronavirus has caused a lot of commotion, caused a lot of problems in economics and financial and school district, and it just took a toll for the worse. And I understand we gotta be safe and do all this, take all necessary precautions to prevent our family and ourselves from getting it. But my mindset is not on the coronavirus and what is it doing, is my mindset is moving on after coronavirus like and what god has for you after the coronavirus after this is over with it's it's going to be over with it's not going to stick around it's like i'm ready to move on like seriously i'm ready to just move on from this coronavirus like and i i don't know like how i feel about because i hear like so many this happens this is why this is going this is this and this is that so I'm not gonna get into what was said because this is not um I'm mean, this is not like a go back and forth thing like everybody has their opinion I respect that so I keep mine to myself but when it has something to do with God I will gladly share my opinions and my thoughts and views because that's a positive thing and God has helped me so why not help the next person but like as far as the coronavirus and all that I'm not sharing my opinion because I'm over it. I did jot down a couple of Bible verses I feel like we should lean towards when we feel ourselves discouraged. And I see a lot of people discouraged about the coronavirus. They're not looking past the virus and past what's going on. Sorry, y'all. I shouldn't have did that. But I'm just over it. Over the whole situation. Let me give me a sip of coffee before I read these Bible verses. Like my hair, like honey bun, jumbo braids. So Proverbs, I did not write the Bible verses, Lord have mercy. It said, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. So you all have your all opinions. Like they say the military brought it over and the president is um, a way of killing us. And this part, I done hurt so many opinions about what's going on with this coronavirus to the point that I don't even want to hear it. Nothing. I don't care to listen to the news about it. It's just, I'm over it. Like, I don't care how it happened, when it happened. I'm just ready for it to be over. Ready for God to remove it, make everybody better that's gonna, you know, and then let's look forward to the greater days ahead. And that's how I feel about the whole situation. Psalms 46.10, be still and know I am God. I will be exalted among the nation. I will be exalted in the earth. Maybe he is trying to sit half us down. This world has gone crazy. Maybe he is trying to sit us down because we are in a state of quarantine all over the United States. Maybe he is trying to sit us down. Maybe he is trying to bring closer to him. Some people are not getting that message they're focusing on the wrong thing instead of focusing on God 
I'm not I'm not of the earthly world, so I guess that's where my feelings are so cold-hearted toward it. I'm part of the spiritual world, and I know what God has promised me, and I know what's coming, and I know, like, God has a plan for everybody. So that's why I'm not of the earthly world. I'm not, I don't care to keep harping on the coronavirus. I don't care to know how it came, who blah, blah, blah. I don't care for all that. I just care to know that God will fix it all, and I'm ready for the after affair, you know? It said Joshua 1, 9, Have I not commanded you to be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I mean, the Bible says it all. The Bible says it all. People say the Bible also speaks of this. The Bible also speaks of how this world going to read the Bible. Pray to God, trust the Lord. He'll tell you. But say lean not on your own understanding though. Psalm 37, 5. God has a reason for allowing things to happen. We may never understand his wisdom, but we simply have to trust his will. I mean, am I worried about getting sick? No. Am I worried about losing my job? No. Am I worried about losing the housing? It's not my house. So I'm not worried about losing it because it's not mine. It's just because I know my faith in God is so strong. He's not going to put too much on me that I can't handle. I'm not, I can't worry and still trust and believe in God. It just, it's just, I'm at that point, like, it's not, you can, it don't go hand in hand. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm not finna sit there and watch newscasts after newscasts and read papers after papers and read post after post about the coronavirus. No, I'm not finna sit there. My mind, to be honest with you, I'm trying to uh, apply for school. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to go on vacation. Not no more. But I'm trying to do other stuff. And people looking at me like, baby, everything is shut down. My God ain't shut down. I don't know what, what people talk referring to, but I'm trying to move on. I got stuff to do. I got two kids. I got three kids to live for. I'm past this corona stuff. Like, get over it. Move on. So, like, I debated so many times uh, if I even get over here and talk about this coronavirus thing, but it's like maybe people do need to know that God is still in control after all of it. So, let's not forget about the Alpha and Omega, the person who will make it better. Y'all need to put God ahead of y'all life. Y'all can see some changes. This coronavirus all is out of hand, blah, blah, blah. God delivered Daniel. God, God, uh, do I want to say deliver David or not deliver David, but God allowed David to conquer Goliath. Uh, God has done so many wondrous big things that I don't understand why people don't see the coronavirus is nothing that God can handle. Nothing. We've been through all this. We've been through a lot of these sicknesses. Every election year is a sickness. And honestly, I'm going to say this. I believe it's something got something to do with Trump. Because that man going to go out with a bang. It's so close to election time. They're going to postpone the elections. So he's going to be in there a little longer. When y'all started trying to impeach this man, he started a war. So who's in control over the military? They say is the president, and they claim that the U.S. military brought that virus over here. So that man knew about that. He had to. But I really don't care. I don't even want to get into the politics of it because I don't speak facts because I don't know facts about stuff like that. I just know about God, and my God can fix it. That's all I know. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all don't harp on the coronavirus as much as the world's trying to get y'all to do. I know yeah, everybody's probably quarantined in y'all house and y'all feel like there's no hope. But while y'all in the house, y'all pick up y'all Bible, pray. God, y'all got time to pray. Y'all got y'all don't have nothing to do. Y'all happy y'all not working. Y'all probably weren't working before this coronavirus. But now since y'all ain't really, really ain't going to do nothing, y'all need to be yourself to God. I'm not one to say this world coming to an end because I don't know that. I haven't read the whole Bible. 
to know what the Bible's saying about the world coming to an end. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what it says. But I know you just need to trust and believe in God. The one who has the find to say so. Like, that's where my heart and my heart is. So I hope y'all take heed to my message that yeah, God is the Alpha and Omega. And he has the find to say so. Y'all have a great day. Have faith in God. Believe in yourself. Peace.